Hi everyone, Darren here. And today I've got a different video, one about timing lights. Uh, this one here, the older Innova 5568, is uh, not working. This one was given to me by a friend, and the display works, gives RPM, dwell, all the stuff. But the problem is that the strobe is very, very weak or intermittent. And since this is the same strobe light that I have, but I have the newer version, I tried switching cables, but did not have any change in functionality on this unit. So what I'm going to do today in today's video is I'm going to take this strobe mechanism apart here, see if I can find anything wrong with it, and um, perhaps repair it. Now, I do have a standard version, the non-adjustable um, timing version of the uh, same strobe, basically. So if I need any parts, I can just use this one for parts. This is a good working unit, but I'd much prefer to have the ability to, you know, dial in my timing on this unit here. So uh, follow along while I go ahead and take this apart and check some parts and see what I can do. I just want to mention a quick warning. Inside here, there are high voltage components. And uh, if you're unfamiliar with working like with electronics or high voltages, uh, do not open this up and see what's going on with yours if you happen to have one that's not working properly because uh, it can be damaging in many ways. Either you'll damage the unit or you'll get shocked. But um, this particular unit has been sitting around for several weeks now, so I believe it's discharged, but I'm going to go ahead and double check before I um, uh, start taking parts off here. So, yeah, you've been warned. Do this at your own risk. So getting it apart is pretty easy. There are four screws for this back cover here, and then two screws for the handle, and they both basically separate. Now the board is attached to the inside portion here, um, and the rest of the panel is actually attached to the front side. So you have there's a little bit of a puzzle to separate these, but they will they will separate pretty cleanly. So on this particular unit, there was a piece of double-sided sticky foam holding against the capacitor, this board, to the, the top piv. Um, just pull gently and eventually the adhesive will let go. But what I think is going wrong is I think this capacitor is most likely have failed or the xenon tube is going. But either way, I think that's the two main problems with this one. Because like I said, uh, the strobe does flash, but it's very, very dim and intermittent. So obviously the functions are, are working through the, the display and whatnot. It's just that there seems to be not enough power up here to strobe efficiently. So I think the problem is within this board. But uh, anyway, that's what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and take the other one apart and make sure it has the same sort of component configuration. One thing I have noticed is that there's no markings on this uh, this capacitor. It seems to be unmarked. So I may have to take it off and, and measure it. Or hope that the other one is marked so I know what the, the capacitance is and size rating is. One obvious place to check is issues with the connections. Um, all these showed good strong connections here at the cable end and at the board end here and here. So I didn't notice any, any obvious issues with the cables. And same thing with this board. I looked at all the main uh, solder joints here and everything looks looks good and undamaged so I'm going to continue on with my assumption that it's a capacitor issue or, or something to do with this board. Well it looks like I was mistaken. This is actually a 2 microfarad capacitor rated for 630 volts. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off the board and check it with my multimeter to see if this is still within spec. Well, I've got the capacitor out, and as you saw earlier, two microfarad. So we'll just set this on capacitance here, and we'll hook it up and see what we got. 1.14 nanofarads. So that's definitely below the reading it should be. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my other multimeter just to double check. Well, the other multimeter had a dead battery, so I can't use that one. Anyway, 
I went and pulled another one of these capacitors off the board. This one says uh, 68 nanofarads. And let's check it out. Sixty-eight. So, um, yeah, this capacitor is definitely bad. Also, I found this giant blob of solder. I don't know if you guys saw that in the earlier bit when I was showing the board, but there was a blob of solder hanging out on the board. So this might have been actually the reason it was bad. But either way, uh, I'm gonna check the rest of the capacitors before I do anything else with this, because clearly this is this is showing signs of fatigue, and perhaps some of these these two here. I'm gonna check. Maybe these two also have issues. So here is the 100 nanofarad capacitor. Go ahead and check this one. 101.8. All right, that one's good as well. So one more to check. All right, here's the last one to check. 15 nanofarad. 15 nanofarad. So uh, all the other capacitors check out except for this one. Now that I've tested all the capacitors, I went ahead and opened up the second strobe and it actually has a different capacitor in here and the board is slightly different. So uh, I don't think I can just use this strobe board or this capacitor for this one here. So I'm going to have to go ahead and order one of these and see if I'm right about my thoughts on the capacitor being the fault with this board. Um, so stay tuned while I get a new capacitor. Well, it's been a few days and I was able to source a new capacitor. This one's rated for 2.2 microfarads at 630 volts DC. The original one was two at 630 volts. So I'm gonna go ahead and double check it. Two point one, close enough. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and solder this into the board and then I'll go ahead and test the uh, strobe, see if it works. So, like I said, I hope this is the problem. Uh, if not, I'll have to keep digging on this. And here we go. Got the new one soldered in. All nice. So, just uh, time to reassemble, and I'll go ahead and test this out, and hopefully it works. So I've got the strobe hooked up to my car, and it's just idling right now. And, uh, as you can see, the strobe appears to be working just fine, so I think this was a success. I was able to see the timing marks with the strobe, so um, I'm going to call that a win. If you guys found this video helpful or useful or you liked what I was doing, let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.